Hello, I'm Rob, and this is another results tutorial. Hello, and welcome back, you rebel scum. This week we're painting the real Mando herself, Sabine Wren from Star Wars Legion. Sabine was pretty fun to paint as I was able to use colors that I normally would not be able to get to. And I really enjoyed the fact that I was able to pick options for her build. So after priming Sabine in black, we're going to start off with her pants. And for that we're going to be using some uh, of the um, Vallejo Extra Opaque Line Heavy Gold Brown. I also want to go ahead and apologize in advance for the rather blurry video. It, well, it's blurry. It's not horribly blurry. But I did not uh, fix the focus on my camera properly. I didn't realize it until after I was done painting and I had the video on my computer to edit. So once again, I'm sorry. Let me apologize for that. Uh, we will try and keep the video short as normal, though. And uh, I hope you enjoy it. Now for the chest plate section, we're going to be using some heavy warm gray. Uh, if you've used this paint before, you'll notice that this paint has a good undertone of purple from the looks of it, which aids us in laying down our primary color later. Also, depending on how you choose to paint her armor will depend on how you prime these sections. So I chose to only layer this on her chest and her left shoulder along with her knees and shin areas. And here I am, I'm going back through the model really quick using some model color gray. I don't know why I used model color gray, but I did. And I'm cleaning up some of the areas that I messed up on. Or, you know, where I overspilled onto the, the uh, darker areas with the heavy warm gray or with the uh, heavy gold brown areas. So, you know, if you made any mistakes putting down those first two layers, you know, you might want to take some black paint, since we did primer in black, and clean those sections up. So Sabine's jumpsuit seems to be a two-toned gray affair. And this will include all the areas below the chest pad, on her arms. I've also used this same color for the uh, to prime her boots with. Uh, and it basically it's just a mixture of German gray and white. So to continue on with her jumpsuit and create a different color of gray, I just added a little bit more white and worked on the jumpsuit, her knee pad straps, and also I used this to highlight her boots.
Now that our heavy gold brown is dried up, we're gonna head back to the pants. The pants have uh, two areas, basically an inner area, or an outer and an area inner area, which seems to be, I guess you could call it leather if you wanted to. And for that, I've used a mixture of game color earth and khaki. Uh, the base gold brown could be, uh, you know, a little bit difficult to cover with this uh, mixture. So, you know, just remember to let areas dry and give them a couple good coats of paint. And here I am attempting to start some sort of design on her right shoulder pad, which ended up being done off camera in black and white checkerboard design. This was the actually the first time I'd ever done something like this, and it took more effort than I thought it would. But for being a first time outing, I thought I did a pretty decent job on it. Basically, you just want to take some gray and outline you know make lines going down or vertical lines and horizontal lines and leave them you know don't put them too close together you don't need tiny checkerboards and then when you're done with that come in with some white and start coloring in you know every other square and then just use the black to clean up any overspills So on to the chest plate again. So we're going to be using squid pink on the right breastplate and then purple for the less bre left breastplate, knee pads, shin pads, the gadgets on her forearms, and we will go ahead and base her hair in this uh, model color purple also. So still working on her breastplate, we're going to take some Warlord purple and make an angled line that's going to be running right to left, uh, Sabine's left that is. Also use the purple to color that, uh, that neck pad area between her head and the, sh the shoulder, uh, shoulder panel that we did in our black and white checkerboard. Moving along with more fun colors, this time with some hot orange, some fire orange. Uh, we'll be using the uh, orange fire. We're gonna use that to color the center section of her, of her chest pad. We're also gonna be using this to cover the left shoulder pad. 
and also that uh, that neck pad between her her head and her shoulder on the left side and then on the left breastplate we're going to be making these two uh, left leftward down lines Now, after we get all that done, take that orange fire color and let's add in a little bit of white. Just a little bit of white uh, is all it needs to make it change colors. Then we want to add a little circle on her shoulder pad. Uh, be careful, you know, like I said, just, just be careful. Don't, don't make it too white. You really don't want it to stand out that much. Just a little bit and you'll, the, the color changes really quickly. And while we wait for that shoulder pad to dry up a little bit, let's move on to the hair. And for that, we're going to mix in a about a one to one ratio. We want to mix purple with the squid pink. And then, um, you know, starting from the center of the head, you know, the crown, we're going to start working our way out and we're going to paint about halfway down. Uh, and also you don't, you don't need to look for a hundred percent coverage here. You can be a little spotty and a little messy. Uh, just make sure you leave a good amount of the straight purple showing towards the bottom and some of it, you know, up, up towards the top areas too. Continuing with the hair this time, we're going to be using squid pink and white. Uh, once again, we're starting from the crown, working our way out. We're gonna, you wanna try and cover maybe about 50 to 75% of the area you just painted um, to, where, to where you will have like this uh, three, three colored hair, all right? Uh, remember when you do these two layers, uh, you know, don't just slap the colors on. Uh, you wanna do your best to allow the previous two colors to show. You know, and if, if you're curious what I'm going on about, you know, for reference, you can you can Google, you know, color highlights or, you know, go stare at your wife's hair for a few minutes and you can get a good visual of what it should look like. Also, you want to use this color as a edge highlight uh, around all the solid purple areas, you know, on her her shin pads, her forearm gear that she's got going on there. Now for the skin areas, uh, Sabine seems to have this almond colored skin in the cartoon and it, to me it's something similar to what you would see in Asian, Asian Pacific peoples, right? Uh, so I based all these areas in a flat, you know, a model color flat brown, model air brown mixture and then after I was done with that I kind of came back and started to do a little bit of highlight with the beige red. I've never used this color combo before, but um, it sort of worked out and I think it looks good and I was rather happy with the results.
So now we're moving on to the metallic areas and you can never go wrong with a model air steel and model color black mixture. And we're gonna take this and we're going to color uh, both her blasters, her jetpack. Also, there are these little ammo clip things that seem to be going around her calf section, similar to what you saw in the Bosque video. Uh, if you haven't seen that video, you should probably go check it out if you want to. Um, if you just have the Bosque character, you just look down at his, at his legs and he has these little bulges going around his calves. And those are actually like little ammo pouches. So now we're gonna be going to uh, work on her holsters, uh, her the little pouches she's got, and her belt. And for that, you can just use a straight model color flat brown for this. The flat brown actually does a really good job of mimicking just basic leather, you know. And then um, you know you just come back back to it with like an actual leather color or a lighter brown color, and just make. You know, you can highlight around the edges or make little scuff marks all around it, and it it looks believable. So we're back on the face now with uh, beige red and this time we're adding some basic skin, skin tone and we're going to further highlight the areas around the nose and the cheekbone areas. Now while I was here I took the time to go ahead and color her eyes. This is not something I normally do but they, her eyes were actually really prominent on her face and seeing as how she's not wearing a, a ball cap or you know a military style cap like almost every other figure in this game is, I thought, hey, let's go ahead and paint them. So the best way that I find to do this really is you want to take some black paint and just black out the eyes, right? Don't worry about being too messy. It's okay because it's, it's a little bit of a messy job. And then after that's done, you want to fill in a section of the black, you know, where the eyeball should actually be with white, right? And it, it might take a couple thin coats to, to, to get this done, but usually it doesn't because it's such a small, uh, small surface area. And so then when you're done with that, just take some black and you're going to dot the center of the pupil, right? And then after that, you just take your skin tone and start cleaning up all the areas around the eye where the black spilled out over. And you know, if you spill onto the eyeball, don't worry. Just, you know, grab the black paint and start working on it again. Uh, if it's your first time doing this, you know, it can it can take a, it can take a little bit to nail this approach down. Um, but just be patient, take your time, and work at it. And I, I think you'll actually be happy with the, uh, with the way it turns out. And here we are, we're using a little bit of Army Pater Flesh Tone, and we're going to hit her face a little bit. And I think she has some fingers showing on her gloves. So, uh, basically with, with washes, the way I do washes is 
for every drop of wash I put in, I put, also put in a drop of thinner. And then on top of that, I will usually put in a drop of flow improver or something of the sort that will help release the uh, surface tension and it allows the, the wash to flow into the recesses more easily. Then after we're done with that, you want to grab a lighter, a lighter shade. And for this, you're going to shade Sabine's hair, her chest and shoulder pads. And once again, you want this to be a, you know, a lighter tone. So, you know, if you're using games workshops, non oil or something like that, thin it out really good because we do not want to put a really strong shade on her hair as it'll outright just kill the color. So then after you're done with that, uh, you can come in with some darker shade. And with that, you know, we want to color her clothing, the weapons, the jetpack, and the boot areas. Now after the wash dries, uh, let's work on let's work on cleaning up her uh, pant legs, and we're going to be using some game color earth, and we're only using this over the areas that were based in the heavy gold brown. So that would be the outer thigh areas of her pants only. So to push those uh, earth highlights just a little bit higher, uh, try adding in a, uh, you know, like a small drop of a really light brown color or even just a drop of white to lighten it up pretty good. And you just want to make these downward lines on her thighs pretty much and then um, a a perpendicular line to that right where the uh, the upper leg meets the knee area. And now using some game color khaki, we're going to highlight the clothing on her inner thigh section. And just as we did on the, uh, the game color earth, uh, once you get it cleaned up, and to the point where you want it, you know, you can add a lighter color to the mixture and just kind of edge highlight around that uh, section. Using some Model Air Steel, we're going to highlight the jetpack, the blasters, and her ammo packs. Now, uh, for the for the jetpack, seeing as how you know there's not many uh, edges here, just do your best to highlight the uh, you know the upper areas and uh, try and stay more in the center of the lines as you're going around. You know, don't. Don't get too close to the edges where it's shaded and stuff like that. And as usual with the, the blasters, we're just working on highlighting the, you know, the sharper edges.
Here we are, you yeah, bunch of rebel lovers. Sabine Wren from Fantasy Flight Games Star Wars Legion. I rather enjoyed painting Sabine as I was able to choose the way she looked and paint in pinks and purples, something you don't get to do in Legion every day of the week. Uh, you might have noticed that off screen I also used some hot orange to paint in that Rebel Phoenix sign on her left shoulder pad. Um, if you like this video and you want to see more like it, remember to like, subscribe, and share to help my channel grow and to see more. Uh, below you'll also find affiliate links for the paints that I use in this video. Also you'll find a PayPal link uh, and links to Patreon to further help my channel. Once again, I want to thank you for watching and we'll see you next time.